Gingivitis, also known as periodontal disease, describes the buildup of bacteria in your mouth. If left untreated, it can ultimately lead to tooth loss due to the damage of the tooth's protective layer. In its early stages, gingivitis may not show noticeable signs or symptoms, such as pain. Even in more advanced stages, the symptoms can be minimal. However, common symptoms that typically accompany gum disease include bleeding gums when brushing, redness, inflammation, and sensitivity of the gums. Other symptoms include a persistent unpleasant taste or smell from the mouth, deep gaps appearing between the gums and teeth, and even tooth loss or movement. Changes in tooth alignment and the positioning of artificial teeth or dental crowns can also be seen. Even if none of these signs are observed, it is possible for gum inflammation to be present. A dentist or periodontist can diagnose and determine the severity of gingivitis. Gingivitis, a common gum disease, is caused by a layer of germs that forms on the surfaces of the teeth. Some factors, however, can increase the likelihood of this infection. Hormonal changes during pregnancy, puberty, menopause, or the menstrual cycle can increase the sensitivity of the teeth and the likelihood of gum infections. Certain medications can affect the health of the oral cavity, causing a decrease in saliva production or the formation of an abnormal layer on the gums. These include anticonvulsants like Dalentin and drugs for pharyngitis like Procardia and Adalot. Bad habits like smoking damage the gum's ability to regenerate. Incorrect hygiene habits, such as not brushing or not using dental floss daily, can also facilitate gum inflammation. A family history of periodontal diseases may contribute to gingivitis on a genetic basis. Lastly, certain diseases like cancer, AIDS, and diabetes, which affect the body's immune system or ability to absorb sugars, can make individuals more susceptible to dental inflammation, including gingivitis. Gingivitis, a common gum disease, can lead to several complications if left untreated. Some of these include periodontal abscesses recurrence and damage to the periodontal ligament, the tissue that connects the tooth to the alveolus. Further, it can cause damage and loss of the alveolar bone, the jawbone that contains dental cavities, leading to receding gums, loose teeth, and even loss of teeth. Diagnosis of gingivitis typically occurs during a regular dental visit. The dentist examines for bleeding gums, bulges and spaces between gums and teeth, tooth movement, and tooth sensitivity. Treatment is aimed at stimulating the re-adhesion of healthy gum tissue to the tooth surfaces, reducing puffiness and depth of pockets, thereby treating gums and reducing the risk of gingivitis or stopping the exacerbation of existing gingivitis. Periodontitis is a serious gum infection that damages the soft tissue and destroys the bone that supports your teeth. But don't worry, there are ways to prevent it. First, regular brushing prevents the accumulation of a germ layer on your teeth. Also, using dental floss gets rid of food residues and germs from the spaces between your teeth. Antibacterial mouthwash reduces the germs in your mouth and prevents gum infections. However, Lifestyle changes are also necessary. Quit smoking, avoid stress, maintain a balanced diet, and refrain from excessive teeth pulling. These healthy habits can reduce your risk of developing gingivitis. Remember, if you have a genetic susceptibility to periodontal disease, regular dental checkups and professional teeth cleaning are vital to keep the disease monitored. Stay healthy.